Hi, Anthony here from Learning to Play the Guitar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the song Never Love an Anchor by the Crane Wives from their album Coyote Stories. Just a reminder, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe, and you can check out more lessons and my books at my website, learningtoplaytheguitar.net. Okay, so this tune starts off with this cool little guitar riff. It's meant to envisage the sound of a rocking boat or something. Anyway, so we're playing two notes. So we're playing fret five on the A string and then fret five on the D string. Up and down or down and up. Letting them ring out there, so fairly simple. And the second part, slides up to a C note, which is fret eight on the top there and fret seven underneath on the D string. So I've just kept the second finger sliding, put my first finger in here underneath. Same basic up, down picking pattern. It's a good way to practice your down, up, down, up. So down the top string, up on the bottom one. So let's do it again. One more. And that goes into the intro. It doesn't really appear again later on the song. It's really just for the first minute or so. So in the verse and the majority of the song is really just based around two chords, which are A minor and F. But there is a little rhythm thing going on with these chords, so we're gonna get stuck into what's happening there. It does vary a bit in the song, but I've made up a basic pattern that fits most of the song. So when I hear the rhythm guitar at the start of the beginning of the song, at the start of the beginning, it sounds a bit like this. We have this idea of an A minor. the old first finger coming off actually giving us an A sus2 sound so basically A minor and the first finger coming off so watching the um, tab here and the down up strumming notes I have here on the screen we're gonna have down down up down down and the first finger comes off and we do that twice down down up down off so also you can see I'm sort of emphasizing the bass notes on the initial strum really hitting in on the A string using my thumb to mute that top string just in case I hit it by accident but generally you should be working on getting your picking as accurate as you can so the rest of the chords are more emphasizing the bottom four strings for that jangly tone so I'll just do it one more time nice and slow down down up down 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 up down down emphasizing that finger coming off the second half based around F here I'm doing sort of a half bar F we've got the double one Second finger on fret two, three and four on top. So not the full bar, but I'm gonna have this first finger down here. I'm doing a five string version of the chord. And again, it starts off similarly, and this first finger is gonna pop off, giving us an F major seven sharp 11, if you're into labeling things. The exotic Lydian sound of that chord. So we're gonna have this rhythm going on with the finger popping off. Down, down, up. Up with the finger off, and then second half, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. You can see my first finger popping off there. So I'll do that again nice and slow. Down, down, up, off, down, up, down, up, off, down, up. So I'm showing the offs when my finger comes off. But I'll do it again now with the down ups one more time. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So if I stick the A and the F together nice and slow, we have down, down, up. see my first finger popping off giving you that open B resonance on those two chords so I'll do it now a little bit quicker without me saying anything one more time so the challenge is it's it's not a super fast song but the rhythm is quite busy and complicated you can vary that of course if you like but that's just something to get you started to emulate something similar to what is on the recording at the end of that section we jump to a D chord 
and then back to the F you can do the whole bar if you like here or the same half bar thing if you're happy with that as you go along. So here again there's little rhythm variations here that I hear on the track and again you can vary these if you like. So I've got D, down, up, down, up, down, 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 one more time, down, two, up, down, up, down, down, down. So it's saying two because he's missing the second beat on that strum. So you can see here, if you're looking at the notation, I'm actually missing the second beat, but you can throw that in if you want. So it has a little wonky sort of strum to it, which is quite cool. F chord, I'll just do this version of F. I'm emphasizing bass treble strum, as I call it. All down strum, so we're gonna go one and two and three and four. So combining the D and the F together, which is at the tail of every verse. And that's the verse. So the A and the F go round and round and that's chucked on at the end of the verses. I believe if I'm counting correctly in the verses, three A F combos and the D F on the end. In the middle of the song, there is just an A minor chord hanging out and a very subtle strumming of that F chord, um, keeping things low and mellow before it builds up back towards the end. And so to get back towards the end, there is a lot of this D chord. One, two, three, really simple. The whole band's rocking along with these four hits, four beats, three times. I'll do the last one, this is the third one. This is down strum, it's the same chords from before. Now we go D again. F, one and two and three and four and then an E major chord, the only time it's used, one and two and three and four and that will take you back to the A, F groove just to jam out at the end. Mm -hmm. So in the intro of this song, the bass simply plays two notes, an A on fret five of the E string under the A minor chord, sliding all the way up to fret 13 on the same string for the F note under the F chord. So we have this little simple A note, sliding up the F note backwards and forwards. So then in the second part of the intro where the melody of the vocals come in, we have this little run up these notes, which A, B, C, D, F, a little dance to an A, F, A, F, E, F. So the notes here in tab, if you like tab. Five, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven on the other string. Eight, seven again. Eight, seven, eight. So it's A, B, C, D. A little slide into this note. F, <coughs> A, F, A, F, E, F. So all together. In the verse, it also has a similar run up, but we're going from A, B, C, E, which is fret seven on the A string, back to the fret five A, and then we have this low F on fret one. This little riff on the fret one F, one, two, three, E, F, G, or one, zero, one, three. So that little riff under the verse all together. Nothing too crazy there. At the end of the verse, it does jump to the D chord. So on the bass, we're gonna play D on fret five on the A string. And then we're gonna hit an F up here on fret eight. Or you could also go down to fret one F. And we'll do the same job for you. We 
in the breakdown section. For the bass, we have a D for the D chord again, just plotting four notes on D, showing me doing four notes on F. And that repeats a few times. Simple stuff. And then the very end, it has an F. You can go down to low F, two and three and four and E open. Or you can go fret F, sorry, fret eight, F, and two and three and four and fret seven, F, up the octave on the other string. Either one is fine to me, it works quite well in the song. <laughs> 